Breaking overnight on Oahu's North Shore, a man is found dead following an apparent browning at Keiki Beach. And Robert Vaughn, you're now at the scene of not one but two incidents yesterday. Hi, Cynthia. Yeah, we're here at Keiki Beach, and it's a it's a gorgeous area. I don't know if you've ever been out here to this area in Pupukea, just for those who have not uh, they're not familiar with this area just right above this seawall right here a lot of bungalows that are pretty popular vacation spots over to uh, to your right you can see in the distance that's where Kaena Beach Point is so lots of uh, lots of different parts of the beach you can see the rocky shore behind me in fact I'm gonna swing around this way you can see the rocky shore you can see the waves start to come up here and it's over on this part of the beach where the sand meets the surf and that's where the dangerous part is because yeah obviously the beauty of the beach can often disguise the dangerous wrath of the waves and that's what happened yesterday where a 21 year old man was found uh, motionless was unresponsive the, the call came in around t uh, six o'clock last night when ocean services had to come out some good samaritans tried to help out and get the man back to shore safely but when ocean services got him over to the beach uh, they did perform CPR but unfortunately it was too late later pronounced dead at the hospital that was the second of two incidents a 30 year old woman also kind of was uh, was hit by a wave pretty hard disoriented made her way back to shore and was able to uh, to, to wave off any further medical treatment but the moral of the story with all of this, as we get later into the winter and the surf gets bigger, it becomes all that much more important to keep an eye out on what the surf report looks like. 